I think it takes a lot of practice to train the mental side of tennis and we don't see results quickly. The other thing is the results waver a little bit during the course of a match or during the course of someone's career. Uh, I mean, if I have a 12-year-old boy who's playing tennis and he's, he's on, a, on a good run and he's won 10 matches in a row, his confidence level is going to be high. Now, if he suddenly loses to someone he doesn't expect to lose to, his emotional state is going to drop. And suddenly, we've got to go back to the, to the drawing room and start working again. Whereas his forehand technique probably suddenly won't drop after losing a match. So I think that the mental side is not that rewarding. It's very difficult to monitor and it's really difficult to train.